it's Miss Sarah, and it's going to be a great day to be together learning more about Jesus and how he wants us to love, serve, and tell everyone about him. Jesus grew up to do amazing things that only he can do. He loved everyone so much and was such a good friend to them. People saw Jesus loving everyone and doing these things for each other that they believed in Jesus. Then those people wrote down what they saw Jesus do so that we can believe in Jesus too. They wrote it down in the Bible. In just a moment, we're going to watch our Bible story. And when it's over, we have a project for us to do. So before our Bible story begins, I need you to run and get a piece of paper and some tape. Are you ready? Set. Go! Did you get it? Awesome! Let's get ready for our Bible story and some worship, and I'll be right back.
friends, and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and my friend Poppy left us some secret words to find. All I have to do is paint this page, see? I think there's a secret word on here somewhere. Let's keep painting. Do you spy the secret word? I spy with my little eye the word hello. That's how you say hi in English. Can you turn to your neighbor and say hello? Hello to all of you. Should we do another one? I'm gonna try blue this time. Do you spy the new secret word? I spy with my little eye the word hola. That's hello in Spanish. Can you say hola with me? Hola. Now turn to your neighbor and say hola. Yes, I love it. You just said hello in two different languages. Wow. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hola, Lucy. Who? Who? Telling each other hello, are you? Poppy left us these fun different ways to greet each other. Saying hello is fun. Ho, ho. But there's so much more to tell others too. So let's hear the story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my Tell All the World Cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about how we can tell the whole world about Jesus. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today we are going to play I Spy to find a man named Peter. Do you see him? Get out your pretend binoculars. Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye. Peter! Peter was a fisherman. That means he would get in a boat and go out on a lake to catch fish. Peter believed in Jesus because Peter saw that Jesus is alive with his very own eyes. Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he would come back again. But until then, he wanted them to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. And he wants to be their friends forever. Then he left and went to heaven. Jesus' friends did just what he told them to do. They told everyone everywhere Jesus is alive. He wants to be your friend forever. One day, some men who were different than Peter came and knocked on his door. Knock with me, ready? Knock, knock, knock. They asked Peter to come to their house and tell all their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what they look like or what language they speak or where they live or what they have done. So Peter said he would go to their house even though they were different than him. Do you see someone that Peter can tell about Jesus? Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye someone Peter can tell about Jesus. Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, even though they were different than him. Peter told them about the amazing things that Jesus did. He told them about how Jesus died and came back and is alive. He told them he knows Jesus is alive because he talked with Jesus and even ate food with him. After Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too because everyone can believe in Jesus. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. 
So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive, and we can tell everyone about it too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Peter got to tell everyone that Jesus is alive because everyone can believe in Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I love that we can tell everyone about Jesus, no matter how they say hello. Let's see if Poppy left us more words to spy. See you later, bye. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. Kids, we know that God created us extra special. And each week, we like to remember that we were created uniquely on purpose, with a purpose, to love God, serve others, and tell the world. Let's start with some motions. And if you already know them, do them with us. We love God because He first loved us, so we say love God and point up to God. We can serve others to show God's love, so we say serve others with our hands out like we're holding up the gift. Jesus wants to have a relationship with everyone, everywhere. So we say tell the world and make a circle like we're drawing the world. You got it? Let's practice. Love God, serve others, and tell the world. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Love God. Serve others and tell the world. That was amazing. After hearing our story, when we say the last part, tell the world, let's really say it with our whole heart and body. Our story today taught us this is exactly what Jesus wants us to do, just like he told Peter. Ready? Let's try it one more time. Love God. Serve others 
and tell the world. Wow, you did such a good job saying that with love and excitement. Now it's time to tell the world in another way. Remember when I asked you to get a piece of paper and some tape? You'll need that now. <laughs> in our story today, we heard all about how Peter believed in Jesus because he saw with his own eyes that Jesus is alive. Jesus told Peter and his friends that he would come back again. But until then, he wanted them to tell everyone that Jesus is alive and that he wants to be their friend forever. So, with our piece of paper, we're gonna make a megaphone so we can do what Peter did. We'll tell everyone everywhere that Jesus is alive and he wants to be their friend forever. After we're done today, you can decorate your megaphone with stickers or markers or crayons, color pencils, whatever you'd like. And you can write, tell the world on it to remind yourself to tell the world about Jesus and his love for them. Here's what you do. You roll up your paper like this. Ready? You do it with me. I'm gonna roll it up. Make a megaphone. Then you take a piece of tape and you tape it. I'm gonna take two pieces of tape. Because I think two pieces might be enough. One right here. And one more, kind of towards the end. That way my megaphone is all apart. Right there. Awesome. Now, you hold up your megaphone to your mouth and you say, Jesus is alive. Ready? Jesus is alive! Can you do it with me? Jesus is alive! <laughs> In our story, we heard that some men who were different than Peter knocked on his door and asked him to come to their house and tell all of their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that, every, that Jesus loves everybody, no matter what they look like, what language they speak, where they live, or even what they've done. Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, even though they were different from him. Peter told them about the amazing things that Jesus did. He told them how Jesus died for them, came back, and is alive. He told them that he knows Jesus is alive because he talked with Jesus and even ate food with him. After Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too because everyone can believe in Jesus. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's right. Let's close our eyes and pray to end today. Dear God, thank you that Jesus loves everyone everywhere, no matter what they look like, where they live, what language they speak, or what they've done. Help us tell everyone everywhere that Jesus is alive. He loves them and he wants to be their friend forever. In Jesus' name we say, amen. Thanks friends, we'll see you next week. Jesus is alive! <laughs>